Chairs are part of everyday life, usually considered mere pieces of furniture. Few of us ponder their history. This stool seems rather ordinary, but is actually quite precious. It is from ancient Egypt, believed to be the place chairs originated. This stool is 3,000 years old, but still in good shape. It has a curved seat, which adapts to the human body. Stools of similar size and design were discovered in the tomb of King Tutankhamun, the boy pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. The Hong Kong Heritage Museum has borrowed 130 chairs from nine overseas museums for the Extraordinary in the Ordinary, Chairs for Viewing the World Through Time exhibition. Each chair served its own function, whether for royalty or grassroots, and has its own story. This black lacquered folding chair with cloud and dragon design in gold is from the Palace Museum in Beijing. The two arms, ending in dragon heads, join the rounded back of the throne to form two meandering dragons and five mountain peaks. This folding chair reflects Emperor Qin Long's power and prestige. We found a painting, Hong Li enjoying himself on a snowy day, which depicts Emperor Qian Long admiring the snow with his sons at the palace over the new year, and he was sitting on this chair. These two chairs are made of antlers, one from Austria, the other from China. Hunting deer was popular in both Chinese and Western traditions. The Chinese antler armchair is made of deer's antlers and bones from animals Emperor Kangxi hunted in the Qing dynasty. Its symbolism was more important than its use as a chair. Qing dynasty emperors used to hunt deer and make chairs with the antlers to make a show of their courage. It played an educational role to remind the royal family that the Manchus had secured their rule through military force. Apart from supporting our bodies, chairs also serve many functions. This chair helped women to give birth. This one could measure a child's weight. And this was used as an exercise chair in 18th century Europe. The rich light riding horses, when the weather became too extreme for outdoor exercise in winter, they mounted a chamber horse. Its seat is made of leather-bound layers of wooden boards and springs, users grip handles and simulated horse riding action. We sit on chairs every day without giving them much force. After this exhibition, I hope people will pay more attention to not only chairs, but to other ordinary things in our daily life. You might discover something extraordinary.